Cooper. You know. Set. Ladies and gentlemen, we have tag team action coming up. And given the state of the tag team division right now and how incredibly competitive it is, this match might just make or break one of these teams. The Long Island IC is all about his glow skis and is known for being a fierce tag team competitor. Let's see if these two can gel as well as the fans hope they can. Two fist pumps are certainly better than one. And whichever team wins this match here tonight can absolutely make an argument for being one of WWE's top teams. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Look at Chad Gable here. Zack Ryder's on the attack now. Oh, alley-oop powerbomb! That might be it. In control, zeroing in on the neck. Submission time! Is he done? And he somehow fights his way free. Lucky for him, that looked devastating. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. Chad Gable not looking so good. It looks to me like he's really trying to carry this team on his back, which really isn't necessary considering he has a very oh. capable partner he could tag in here. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Clearly on a mission here. Rough landing on that one. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. He delivers a hard clothesline. Slam down hard. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. A superstar can't lock up with Zack Ryder and not be prepared to encounter high-impact offense. Ryder's not afraid to take to the air or drop you with his broski boot. Zack Ryder starting to wane a little. If they want to win this match, he really needs to make a tag soon. This is not the time to be a hero. To keep this match from slipping away, he needs to get his partner in there and take a break. 
The Long Island IC certainly has an offensive repertoire that every WWE superstar needs to be aware of. Zack Ryder has the offense and the determination to win every match he's in. Zack Ryder is a master at exploding with high-impact offense and landing it at just the right time. The WWE locker room needs to know that it's not a good idea to take Zack Ryder lightly. Chad Gable connecting there with a good shot. Look at this. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques, like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your court. And will this be it? One, two, and there's still plenty of fight left. Well, I'm not surprised Gable kicked out there. That's what Olympians do. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. Continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bachwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. Tags, his shoulders are down. And he doesn't stay down for long. Not yet. He slams him down with authority. Looks like Gable is feeling the physicality of this contest. Don't count Gable out yet. Scratch and claw. He needs to find a way to create some space or else this thing's over. He has got to fight back. Now is the time for Chad Gable to find a way to shift into that extra gear. And Mojo Rawley just not looking good here. Headed into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. It's no secret that quick tags lead to success in the tag team division. And I'd say the quicker he can make that tag here, the better their chances of winning will be. And knowing him the way I do, I'm willing to bet he thought he was going to get through this match unscathed. But that obviously is not the case here. Raleigh's got a lot of mojo right now. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. He's going to need to find a way to fire back. It might be time for him to recharge that battery. All he has to do is get to his corner and make the tag. This may very well be the opportunity his opponent was looking for. The oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Shelton Benjamin, Shelton Benjamin, this might be it. Cover him, cover him. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team. Shelton Benjamin may have it. Oh, I think this man needs business. One, two, 